day six on the Ayrshire Coastal Path and today we're starting in the beautiful wee coastal village of the Newer. Now the forecast for today isn't great. The forecast is for rain from 12 o'clock onwards. Don't know how heavy it'll be, but we'll just have to wait and see. So a bit different to last time. You can see the castle just there. We've walked along here. And we're gonna head along this part of the beach here. We're gonna see if this is passable and if not, and head up into the fields. I would like to stay at the fields if possible because it's currently lambing season, but if the tide is too high, then it'll be unavoidable. We're in the fields. It's actually lovely here, but there's a problem. Now there's no sheep, but there are cows. There they are down there. Any other snatch, and I'll be like, ah, boom! Coops is for having them as well. Just you stay down there, thanks. They're following me. <laughs> what? Coops, get them, tell. Aye. Just what I thought. Oh, for fr There's more of them. Oh, Christ, here they come. Are you down here on your holidays? You get the wee calf. Wild cows are generally quite docile. They're very inquisitive, especially when you've got a dog. If they've got calves, just steer clear altogether. And if there's any bulls, forget about it, man. Oh, why do they design these things like that? Why, by design, are kissing gates made so bloody small? It's walkers that use them, people with rucksacks. <laughs> That's the rain on. It's not too bad just now. So hopefully, it doesn't get much worse. Current scenes, looks quite bleak. Usually you can see Aaron and Neil's a Craig. I do have to say that I love washed out grey days like this. When the weather is just a wee bit miserable. Because that's what I grew up with. It reminds me of home. The smell of sea salt in the air. A wee bit of wind blowing through your clothes. A wee bit of drizzle just to remind you that you're outside. It's absolutely lovely, as is this wee waterfall. Well, it looks like someone's living there. I don't know who's done this, but it's lovely. You get limpet shells in every rock. The weather's definitely getting worse, so I'm going to have to make the smart decision to stop and put my waterproof trousers on. It's always a bit of a faff, but it needs to be done. We've still got quite a while to go. What are you doing? Are you sure off? That was a bit of a steep pull up there. There's sheep and lambs up there. Once again, follow the edge of the field if possible. Look at this guy. Weather beaten. And a good view down the coast. So we've just come right along that. Look at this. Oof, look at this. The fence is down. And you've got a massive drop. I wonder if there's any sheep down there. Not great for lambs, to be honest. You'd think that the farmer would fix that. Aye, so that's us making our way along the top of the cliffs. We're heading for Bracken Bay, which is a spot I really love. Now there's a waterfall and caves along there, but given the weather, I don't know if I'm gonna go along there, we'll see. 
because that is really nice. Cutting its line across the fields is this old railway line. Used to run down to Maidens and Turnberry and all these places, carrying tourists down the coast. So this is one of the old supports. We're heading around here, follow the white posts. We'll now skirt this field, which will bypass the heads of your caravan site, and we'll bear left down onto the coast again. There you go. Off you go. That's the south end of Bracken Bay. The caves are just along here, as is the waterfall. They're really nice, but I just want to get pressed on. It's turned out to be a right dreek day. I did look at the forecast and it did say it was going to be like this, so I came prepared and I was willing to do it in this, because I want the experience. As I said in the last video, I'm doing this for the experience of longer route trails, so um, I just have to roll with the punches, to be honest. I reckon in a day like this, a tarp would be a really handy bit of kit to have. You could just pop it up and you could have your lunch or whatever just in out the rain. I really love this feature. The way the ridges fork off of this remind me of some Lovecraftian entity. Cthulhu maybe. I bet this would make for a good climb. Anyway, we've timed this just right because the tide is out and it means we can get right round this coast to Greening Castle. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to find anywhere to stop and get something to eat out of the rain but thankfully we found this wee cubby hole Jeez, oh man. It's dreech <laughs> it's still raining. It's just been a case of getting the old head down and just stomping and stomping and stomping. We're now at 11 and a half kilometers. The views back that way are pretty nice. I prefer it when the tide's right in, the tide's out just now. So basically I'm making use of the low tide just to bring straight across the bay as the crow flies. One of Ayrshire's primary exports is that of Robert Burns, the world-renowned poet. I've never been a massive fan of Burns myself. There are certain pieces that I really like, and there's a specific quote that my papa used to talk about all the time, and that quote is, Man's inhumanity to man would make countless thousands mourn. Think about that. 